should be able to talk to, understand, and more importantly, get things done for you. So, for example, we can create a prosthetic legs out of that technology, and, or, or it can even make a new transportation. Zero labor home is our vision. To achieve this, we produce top quality home appliances. I'm taking an early look at the Rabbit R1, and this tiny device. Number six, LG Smart Home. LG Electronics is set to unveil its innovative smart home AI agent at the Consumer Electronics Show 2024. The AI agent, powered by the Qualcomm Robotics RB5 platform, is designed to be an all-encompassing home manager and companion, enhancing daily lives and aligning with LG's vision of a zero-labor home. Zero-labor home is our vision. To achieve this, we produce top-quality home appliances. <laughs> smart home AI agent. He can zip around your house Hi. on his own. Its two-legged wheel design allows the agent to navigate the home independently and express emotions through movements. The AI agent also integrates multimodal technology, including voice and image recognition, natural language processing, and natural language processing, fostering active communication with users. The AI agent connects and controls various smart home appliances and IoT devices, collecting real-time environmental data and offering insights into temperature, humidity, and indoor air quality. It can also act as a pet monitor and security guard, allowing users to remotely care for their pets and receive alerts for unusual activities. The smart home AI agent boasts robotic, AI, and multimodal technology. So he can tell you when the washer's finished. He can turn up your heat. Can he talk to me? He can- Hi, LG! Play the music! The AI agent can autonomously patrol the home, send notifications to the user's smartphone if it detects security issues, and contribute to energy conservation by connecting with smart outlets and turning off unused devices and lights. Upon returning home, the AI agent greets the user, discerns their emotions, and tailors music or content to match their mood. LG Electronics will continue to help customers experience a smarter, more enjoyable life at home. Number 5. Dunyasha A model-looking robot cashier, Dunyasha, will now be working at the Perms Airport, where visitors will be served by her. Initially, this robo-barmaid was used in the cyber cafe in Perm, and now it will also work in the Perms Airport. The Dunyasha Cyber Cafe project was initiated by the domestic company Promobot in partnership with Robin Hood Robotics. The first cities of this cafe were Perm, a cafe in Gorky Park, and Nizhi Novgorod, a coffee shop at the Ferris Wheel. The authors of the project are planning to open 12 more such cafes in Russia. Dunyasha, unlike real sellers, will not only serve visitors but also will interact with them. The robot will also be able to keep up the conversation, tell a story, and even offer to take a photo together. The idea of creating these robots belongs to the director of the Perm Culture and Recreation Park, Gorky Rashid Gabdulin. The model of Danyasha's robot appearance was his wife Diana Gabdulina, the holder of the title Mrs. Perm 2014. Only Russian components were used to make this robot. A single robot's cost is 10 million rubles. Compared to the previous droid model, Danyasha looks much more realistic. However, her appearance is more like a doll because it is more acceptable to have a relationship with a child, Gabdulin explained. Number 4. Rabbit R1 Jesse Liu, CEO and founder of AI startup Rabbit, has unveiled the R1, a $199 standalone AI device that resembles a Playdate console or modernized version of a 90s-era handheld TV. The R1 is half the size of an iPhone with a 2.88-inch touchscreen, a rotating camera for taking photos and videos, and a scroll wheel or button for navigation or talking to the built-in assistant. Just choose your preferred services and log in through them to get authenticated on your device. Push to talk button that you can use to invoke the uh, rabbit assistant when you want to ask a question. Companion should be able to talk to, understand, and more importantly, get things done for you. It has a 2.3 gigahertz MediaTek processor, four gigabytes of memory, and 128 gigabytes of storage, 
all inside a rounded body designed in collaboration with Teenage Engineering. The R1's operating system, called Rabbit OS, is based on a large action model which is a universal controller for apps. Rabbit OS can control music, order cars, buy groceries, send messages, and more through a single interface. The on-screen interface will be a series of category-based cards for music, transportation, or video chats. The R1 also has a dedicated training mode, which allows users to teach the device how to do something, and it will supposedly be able to repeat the action on its own going forward. How all of this actually works in practice is the real question. The R1 can make video calls and has a web portal called Rabbit Hole, through which users can log into various services. Rabbit OS is designed with security and privacy in mind, but it is also asking users to log in to some of their most used services through its interface. I'm taking an early look at the Rabbit R1 and this tiny device. Our mission is to create the simplest computer, something so intuitive. In Lou's view, the R1 is both a nifty accessory and the all-in-one future of pretty much everything. The R1 is available for pre-order now, and Lou says the device will start shipping in March. He even thinks he might beat Humane's AI pin to market. Number 3. Nimble At CES 2024, Nimble Beauty showcased its manicure robot, which can paint and dry all 10 fingers in about 25 minutes. Founder Omri Moran came up with the idea in 2016, after a botched manicure on a first date. He realized that manicures are more like ongoing maintenance than a relaxing experience, and when done at home, it becomes a chore. Nimble's Kickstarter campaign initially raised $2 million, indicating a huge market and potential demand for the product. The 12-inch cube was designed to fit fingers correctly and comfortably between ridges, and the accompanying app informed users about the machine's calibration phase. The machine uses machine vision, tiny cameras, and 3D image processing to scan the size and shape of each nail for accurate painting. The AI robotic arm has the same tactility as a human hand to precisely paint each nail. The app was key to the user experience, allowing users to know exactly what was happening inside the cube. The dune comparison stopped as soon as the manicure started as nothing scary or painful happened. The app was a critical part of the experience, providing real-time updates on the process. The app was a critical part of the experience, as it allowed users to follow the process through the app. The only wish was for a status bar on the machine, but the Nimble also comes with a foam pillow to rest the arm while waiting. Overall, the Nimble Beauty Manicure Robot offers a professional salon look at home without lifting a finger. Number 2. Forerunner what stands 178 centimeters tall, weighs 85 kg, and has five-fingered hands with 12 degrees of freedom? That's right, it's the Kepler Forerunner Humanoid Robot, and it's set to debut next week at CES. Manufactured by China's Kepler Exploration Robot Company, the Forerunner is designed to be a direct competitor to Tesla's Optimus Robot. That said, it is a bit more expensive. Whereas the latest priced estimate for the Optimus is less than $20,000, the Forerunner ought to go for about $30,000. One of the robot's big selling features are the proprietary planetary roller screw actuators in its arms and legs. These deliver up to 8,000 newtons of thrust to the elbow, knee, and ankle joints. According to Kepler, these actuators surpass conventional motors in delivering precision control, enhanced power, and quick responsiveness adeptly handling complex tasks. Custom rotary actuators move the waist and shoulder joints. The Forerunner perceives its surroundings via a group of sensors located in its head. These devices include a wide-angle binocular camera, a far-field array of four microphones, an accelerometer, and an AHRS. It can also speak to people via a synthetic voice module and stereophonic speakers. All of the sensory data is processed via Kepler's proprietary Nebula AI system, reportedly allowing the robot to navigate complex environments and avoid obstacles while walking across uneven terrain. Its hands can both sense and gently grasp objects, plus they also allow the robot to pick up and carry heavy objects. An exact lifting carrying capacity hasn't been provided at this point. According to Kepler, several versions of the Forerunner will be available, aimed at applications such as manufacturing, inspection, 
high-risk tasks, outdoor work, plus robotics research and education. Number 1. Cheetah Robot A headless robot named Cheetah has set a new world speed record for legged robots, running faster than the fastest human. The headless machine, funded by the Pentagon, reached 28.3 miles per hour when tested on a treadmill. The MIT engineers demonstrated the first version of the robot last year. The robotic cheetah was able to run untethered. So, for example, we can create a prosthetic legs out of that technology and, or it can even make a new transportation. It can run as fast as humans jog and jump like a cheetah. Jamaican sprinter Usain Bolt's top speed is 27.78 miles per hour. The cheetah, created by Boston Dynamics, and backed by the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, aims to assist warfighters across a greater range of missions. The machine, powered by a hydraulic pump, broke its own record of 18 miles per hour in February. The agency plans to test the robot in the field in 2013. The design has been inspired by the real cheetah, the fastest land animal, which can reach speeds of 75 miles per hour. Gil Pratt, DARPA program manager said that the cheetah bot borrows ideas from nature's design to inform stride patterns. Flexing and unflexing of parts like the back, placement of limbs, and stability. Noel Sharkey, professor of AI and robotics at the University of Sheffield, has mixed feelings about the development. He suggests that the robots might be used for chasing people across the desert, hunting, farming, or rounding up sheep. However, if used for combat, it would be killing civilians and not discriminating between civilians and soldiers. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.